fuel will be petrol, diesel or gas. As you know, we see way too many vehicles around trucks, cars, bikes, autos, you school autos and anything based. Nowadays many autos run on gas and you have many gas stations around you also, right? So how do vehicles run? Vehicles run basically on fuels like petrol, diesel, sometimes kerosene or CNG that is compressed natural gas or gas. So we can also tell petrol, diesel and all these things can be treated as basic needs of life like food, water, air are the basic needs of life. Without these we cannot survive, without vehicles we cannot travel from place to place. So they say we can be also termed as basic needs of life. So by the completion of this lesson, what are the objectives of our lesson? You will learn that what are natural resources and what are its types. You will be able to define coal and its products and you will be able to describe petrol and its refining process. Then you can also understand the constituents of petrol. The constituents of petroleum are kerosene, liquid, paraffin, wax and many other things. Then you can also describe natural gases and its uses. So what here we are going to talk about natural resources. Natural resources and man-made resources. There are two types of resources available in our world. So natural resources are those which are freely available to us and man-made or artificial resources are those which are made artificially by the man. So depending on the availability, resources are of two types, exhaustible and inexhaustible natural resources. So exhaustible means due to human activity they can get exhausted and inexhaustible means they will never get exhausted by the human activities. So what comes under exhaustible resources? Examples of exhaustible resources are gas, petrol, coal, forests, wildlife and natural gas. So wildlife means all the animals. So what comes under inexhaustible resources? Sunlight and air. These are freely available and they will never be exhausted in the human activity. Next, in this chapter you will be many times, I will be referring to the term fossil fuels. So, you must understand what is a fossil fuel. Fossil is nothing but a, after an organism is dead, the remnants of the organisms are called fossils. Let it be plants, animals or human beings. You know, many times you might have seen in museums, you see dinosaur remains, that is dinosaur skeletons, fossils, human skeletons, ancient mummy skeletons we hear in Egypt, all these are fossil remains. So these are this is the meaning of fossil. So coal, petrol and gas are termed as fossil fuels because they are made from the dead remains of these plants and animals. So in future in this chapter I will be explaining you how all these are fossil fuels. Now let's go to the first topic called coal. Now from this natural resources we are going to take the first topic called coal. So you might have heard or seen coal many times. You see no people around us do ironing process. People who take laundry for cleaning and ironing. How do they iron your clothes? Dry cleaning people. They use coal. Many times you might have observed. And then nowadays you also see coal gate add, right? In that you see that coal gate charcoal add comes. That means coal is nothing but a hard black structure. And earlier people used to brush their teeth with their coal because they believe that with the help of coal the teeth become white. So nowadays the Colgate toothpaste has also added a new flavor to them, Colgate charcoal flavor. But because they have a belief that charcoal whitens the teeth. Then what is coal? Coal is a hard black structure. You might have seen coal or heard about coal many ways. And how, how, how has coal formed? What is the story of coal? So coming to the story of coal. Many millions of years ago, what happened? There were many, many, many forests and wetlands. But due to natural calamities or natural disasters like floods, these forests or this vegetation got buried under the floods and soils. So over a period of many years, this forest got buried, 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 went inside. So as they went inside, the temperature increases. You know, no, if you go to Kodai Canal or Ruti, there are hill stations and why they are cooler because as you go up, the temperature decreases and it becomes cool as the altitude increases. But here it is reverse. As you go deep, the temperature gets high and the pressure gets high. So as these forests and wetlands got buried under high pressure and high temperature, over a period of years, this has turned into coal. So that is the story of coal. Forest got buried under natural calamities like floods and over due to high pressure, high temperature, they turned into coal. You might have heard coal mines.
Mines, talking about Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. You might have heard coal mines are in Khamam district. In Khamam district, coal mines are in Ilandu and Kottagudam. And the one more place is, what is one more place? Do you know? Just think Ramagundam. Ramagundam is one more place where there are coal mines. So they dig the earth very deep for coal. And there are many people working under the earth for digging of coal. So they are coal mines. They are called collieries. Singarani collieries, Kottagudam coal collieries, Ramagundam collieries. Then come moving further. What are the byproducts of coal? What are the three products of coal? They are coke, coal tar and natural and coal gas. Coke, coal tar and coal gas are the three byproducts of coal. Now coming to the coke. Coke is the purest form of coal. Coal is usually made up of carbon. Always remember coal is the always made up of carbon. So this process of this vegetation or forest being converted into coal is called carbonization. Remember carbonization is the process in which the vegetation turns into coal. So coke is the purest form of coal that it is carbon, completely 100% carbon. So coke is used in the process of manufacturing of steel and extraction of metals. The short form of extraction is what I have written here. EXT on the top you write N. So coming to the next product that is coal tar. Coal tar. Coal tar is nothing but a thick blackish liquid with an unpleasant smell. It is used in almost every products in our daily life. Dyes, paints, perfumes, plastics, roofing materials, photographic materials and one more interesting thing is naphthalene walls. You don't know why you call a naphthalene walls you put in the clothes, you put in the bathrooms for prevention of insects entering into your house or your clothes. That is naphthalene walls. It repels the insects, right? So coal tar is a thick blackish substance made up of almost 200 substances. So coal tar is also used in laying of roads. Generally you see blackish color roads laying on your houses outside, no? In our general term, here it is called Damba roads. So nowadays what is happening? They are no more using coal tar for the formation of roads. There is a new thing called bitumen. Instead of coal tar, bitumen is being used for laying of roads. So bitumen is a product of petroleum, not coal. So coming to the last byproduct of coal, it is coal gas. When coal is heated to produce coke, coal gas is emitted. Under heat conditions, coal is converted into coke. In this heat conditions, coal gas is evolved. So where is this coal gas used? Coal gas is used in the industries near coal plants. Any industries near coal plants use this coal gas. And earlier coal gas in 1810 and 1820 in New York and London, coal gas were used for lightning also, lightning of the bulbs. So this completes this. So next we shall move to petroleum.